Okay, so I got a Marshalltown mortar bag, and it's the best thing since sliced bread, as they say. I've got it loaded with just a couple of scoops. You could probably get more in. You gotta roll it up a little bit. And you just come over here. One thing about this, it's not wet. It's not really, it's, it's, uh, it's a four to one mixture of sand and cement with a squirt of uh, dishwashing soap in there. I don't know if it's the dishwashing soap that makes all the difference, but I could never get a mortar gun to do this. It was always too wet to get it to go through the gun. At least that's my recollection. You see how fast that is? If you was doing it by hand, it takes forever. It's sort of like milking a cow sometimes. You squeeze it up here, you roll it up, and then you squeeze it down at the end. And if you get it to the right height, obviously, it makes a big difference in having to come back, fill in little spots. That, as far as it goes. So we got a little bit more, and I'll take my pointer, my uh, my little trowel here, knock everything down, because I don't want it to be underfilled if I can help. We're just trying to. This one, they want a slight reveal on the bricks, the stones, or whatever they are. When I come to one of these junctions, I like to do it a little bit on this way so the stuff can't fall out the side. So, a little bit low here. Let's just go on with this. I've got a little bit more left in the bag here. There's a lot of, see that's almost perfect there. It's only the second time I've actually used this bag in any kind of uh, work. And the first time was on here, on this job that I'm on right now. So, to load it, just come over here. I usually got the tip in a bucket there, and you just unroll it. You see how big it is? Now I'm only putting a couple of good scoops at a time. I'm going to use all I got in the bucket now. And I use a, a good quality mixer. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, but you see this um, and I found out I can only use about eight scoops in one of these buckets at a time and it's I've got a heavy-duty drill motor that I use and the other thing is you can you can easily hold your hand here so it's not making a mess you roll it up you shake it down shake it all around come over here and do this last little bit One thing is, every once in a while, you'll run into something that the tip gets clogged, and you have to unclog it. But it came with a metal tip, 
I'm just using the bag, no tip. I take a spray gun and spray these things down, these joints, especially if it's hot and dry. I'm gonna keep it moist. The trouble with that is, if, you're, if whatever you're using stains easy, you gotta be real careful to keep that water away from where you're working. A little bit low here. So yeah, just with the trial now, this patio here, see if I can zoom back. This is taking me about six hours. That was, that was everything was all prepped except doing a bit of cleaning, getting some of it off. I can show you a little bit of the results over here on the side there. That's four to one, uh, what's it called? Uh, Travis Perkins sand and Mastercrete cement. So that's about it, six minutes.